Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to have a quick chat about the emissions produced by electric vehicles compared to their petrol equivalents. And believe it or not, it actually requires more emissions to manufacture and produce an electric car than it does for a petrol car. And this surprises a lot of people and you'll probably find people online talking about how petrol cars are a lot less tolling on the environment to manufacture. Whilst this is true, the game really changes once those cars get on the road. Because petrol cars produce significantly more emissions once they're on the road. It's only gonna take a matter of months before an electric car gets back into that pole position as being the most environmentally friendly and overtaking the petrol car. And then if you add solar into the equation and you're charging your car using renewable energy, this is gonna reduce your emissions by a further 70 to 90%. So owning an EV, charging it with solar, it doesn't get any better than that. When it does come to the manufacturing of EVs, they are about 50% more expensive to manufacture than a traditional petrol car. And this is what we're seeing reflected in prices for EVs. You know, you look at the petrol Kona versus the electric Kona, and even though the cars are identical apart from their powertrains, the, the price is significantly different. And you see that across the board, EVs at the moment are a lot more expensive than petrol cars. And the main reason for this is the cost of manufacturing and more specifically, the cost of batteries. But over the next few years, it's expected and Tesla has reported that the price of manufacturing is going to continue dropping and the cost of batteries will continue dropping. And that brings way for cheaper electric cars. Tesla have announced that they're planning to introduce a $25,000 electric car in the US, which just shows you their confidence in getting the prices down for manufacturing of electric cars. So we've got a lot to look forward to in the next five years or so as electric cars become a lot cheaper and we already now know that they're a lot more energy efficient. A recent study found that a petrol Kona cost around 4,000% more in annual refueling costs, which came in at around 2,531. To charge the EV in that annual equivalent with you know, the same sort of kilometers came to a total of $55.50. So on the basis that EVs are typically about 40 to 50% more expensive than a petrol car, it's going to, at the moment, take you about 10 to 20 years to get back in the green and make your investment worthwhile. But the great thing is, is as they get cheaper and cheaper, that is just gonna become so much more compelling. Now, a few people have asked me about the battery life and the lifespan of a Tesla Model 3 battery. And I guess with these new modern batteries that have been shipping in these cars for the last few years, we haven't had a significant amount of testing and time to really understand the longevity of these batteries. But the guesstimate is 10 to 20 years, you'll be able to run these Model 3 batteries. Now, once the battery needs to be changed, um, which I believe is at the moment, a considerable cost. I think it's like 30 grand in Australia to change your battery, maybe more. But the battery can be used as solar storage. So you can use it in your house or you can sell it on to someone that's gonna use it as a house battery. And then it's gonna get another 10 to 20 years as a house battery. Once its life comes to an end there, it can go into a recycling program, which Tesla are pioneering at the moment. So that entire battery would uh, make way for new batteries to be produced in EVs. It's basically like a closed loop system. And the more EVs that come to market, the more this recycling becomes compelling. And just on that, batteries can be infinitely recycled to make new ones. You're gonna lose a few raw materials in the process, but the bulk of them can be recycled, which is really, really cool. And I think, you know, if you're wondering why it needs to come out of a car and go into a house, that's because the, the power needed to um, operate a car, sort of that really quick, intense power, as opposed to a home that's like a slower burn and a charging of the battery and a slower release. So you can kind of see there the difference in how the batteries are being used. Interestingly, Tesla is leading the way in all of these categories 
and it's not only in their efficient factory designs, it's also on the road with Tesla's having the highest energy efficiency out of any of the other EVs on the road. So if you're comparing a Tesla to another electric car, Teslas are still a lot more efficient just because they've been built from the ground up to be electric. They've really mastered and crafted what they've been doing. So in all aspects of their business, they're doing amazing work. So overall and in summary, electric cars and in particular Tesla undeniably generate less greenhouse gas emissions than petrol equivalents. I hope this video has been useful. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.